Hello, awesome disciples. I wanted to share with you something that came up in our Bible talk yesterday that might be helpful uh, for several who may have difficulty going up to strangers and greeting them. Uh, if you look at Romans 16, these aren't strangers necessarily, but the idea is to greet people. And uh, there's Romans 16, Paul talks about greeting all kinds of people. For some of us, it may be a little bit difficult if, if we feel uncomfortable or there may be a time when uh, uh, we just don't feel like doing that. But I want to read a little bit about uh, what Jesus did with his disciples. I think we can gather something that will help us in uh, being able to do this, even if it's not part of our uh, makeup, if you will, or our, we feel very comfortable with it. In chapter 10 of Luke, uh, Jesus uh, says after Jesus talks about what Jesus did here. After this, the Lord appointed 72 others and sent them two by two ahead of him to every town and place uh, where he was about to go. And so it's interesting here that <clears throat> he sent them out two by two. And in verse five, it says, when you enter a house, first say, peace be to this house. If someone who promotes peace is there, your peace will re rest on them. But what I wanted to point out here was Jesus' direction of, it, by two by two, uh, these these people were to go out to a strange stranger's house, people they didn't know, and uh, they were to greet them. Uh, they say, peace be upon this house. That was a way of greeting, uh, especially in, in the Middle East. So we don't necessarily say that, but we would greet in a different way. But here's, here's what we came up with yesterday, Linda's ideas, actually. Uh, and I think uh, Rich had some ideas along that line, too. To help people who have who it's very difficult for us to 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 follow what Jesus wants us to do, um, and it's not wrong to feel that it's difficult. But I know that you, being disciples of Jesus, really want to be able to do this to to bring joy to Jesus by following what He wants to do is to go greet people. So I wanted to. Uh, just say that we decided that uh, from looking at scriptures like this, that it might be very helpful for those who would have difficulty to pair up with another person. For instance, you're in church and you see some people you don't know. Uh, it's very difficult for you to go talk to them. You feel uncomfortable. Pair up with someone who has more of a comfortability with that and take that, 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 that uh, initiative and have them go with you. And if you're you're one that don't doesn't usually have a problem, pair it with someone else that may have a problem, or someone that just uh, anybody. But let's let's see if we can help each other to greet one another and bring joy uh, to the other. This is not a guilt trip thing. Here, it's trying to facilitate uh, what Jesus wants to bring joy to others, especially to the visitors, if you will, uh, who or even some of the other people you don't know in church. So. Uh, I'd like for us to practice this uh, for several Sundays and as well as the rest of your life if you could, uh, to find someone that you can pair up with, talk to them, say, hey, I'd like to go learn how to, not learn how, but I'd like to go greet someone, but I feel comfortable with that. Uh, but if you're with me, it'll be a lot easier and I'll let you take the lead. You don't have to be the one that says uh, hello even first. I mean, that will come later probably, but uh, just that you're along with someone to greet another person and talk to them a little bit um, goes a long ways and uh, it, it will it will help you and help help them and bring joy to their lives so thank you very much for listening i hope this is helpful please let me know and uh, i will uh, talk to you later